Hello, good morning. I'm not sure what day I'm going to put this up, so I'm not going to say what day it is. Um, does this go to this or something else? We're going to call it this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go in with the, um, um, today, hello, I'm Erica, LOL. I'm Erica from Erica, LOL, Beauty and Reviews. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, today we're going to try out this micellar change maker supercharged micellar foundation by bite beauty um i've been sick i finally am feeling a little better not a lot better but enough to wear and i'm negative so i'm i'm coming back into this room i haven't been in this room for over a week um I even opened the window to knock dust off of things. So we're going to go ahead and use this NYX plump right back with electrolytes. Because I've used this before. So this way everything is the same as what I've used it before. And I'm also going to use this. Um, I've been using this before I got sick. I used it. Um, I didn't use it while I was sick, but it's the Laura Mercier I got sent by Influencer. Laura Mercier setting powder. I think it's like a blur and set. Ultra blur, yeah. And it, I love the lid. It's like very, it's just nice. I like it. I like the way it looked before. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. This is what the packaging looks like for the Bite Marceller Change Maker. I think I got color L25. Once you open it, it's good for six months. It says it's a skin-like finish. You crave the clean formula you deserve, medium coverage. All right, let's read directions, make sure massage well before use. If needed, squeeze to release air. Okay, it's all says. I'm guessing it means to massage the tube. I guess in case stuff got stuck. Ooh, there's the lid right there. Stay. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my palette thing. It looks like a, let me show y'all. Like the formula looks very creamy and kind of thick. Let's put it on the back of our hand real quick. It doesn't have any smell to it, so it's good. And it, it does definitely have a your skin but better kind of look to it. Okay. All right, let's find the, there we go. We got our, I cleaned my brushes. First thing I did after I got better, after my first um, negative day, because I wanted to make sure that no germ, no nothing was on my brushes, so. So I did come in here for that. And I do believe that weekend I got sick, I might have got a little bit of sun. Because this is the wrong color. And when you look at it, it doesn't look like it would be this color. That's weird. Like, look, they really need to fix that. Do y'all see that? Like, that's the color it says it is, but it's coming off as white. Hmm. Am I, do y'all see that? Am I just not doing it? Was there directions I didn't see? Like, are you supposed to... Like stand on your head and put it on and it's a different color. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see where's um I need a sponge. I mean it feels good on the skin. It's definitely got some coverage to it. I mean even on the palette it's not white. That's weird. But we'll just bring it down the neck. I'm not going anywhere. Before Jason ended up getting it, Eric ended up getting it. Um, I've already probably put a video up about it because I do plan on after this doing a video 
about something else and I'm gonna add all that in it at the beginning all right I don't know what to do except for maybe put some because I feel so like very bright white like I if this is a good foundation this is a good foundation I'll give it to my mom or someone but because it's definitely not my color unless I got a lot of sun and since I've been wearing a foundation that I had left in the bedroom so I was ready to go out in public you know because sometimes when you're sick you just want to feel human We watched a lot of movies while we were sick and a lot of TV shows though. Let me see. Why do I feel like I look gray and like a big bruise? I don't know. There that warmed it up a bit i don't know i don't think i'm gonna i mean i'm not gonna go by the color this time definitely not gonna go by the color i'm just gonna go with the wear that it puts out let's go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on just so to make sure it layers good with concealer it layered good with the um anastasia little mink color I mean, the concealer is darker than the foundation. That is so weird. I don't know if they, did they put the wrong one in here? No, it says L25. And look, it even, does that even match the color it put on the top? I don't know, this is just bothering me now. <laughs> that doesn't even match what the heck so basically uh, there was no way I was going to get the right color that's what it comes down to alright let's go ahead and just keep going let's put this Laura Mercier powder over the top of it I've used this with other foundations so I know it works good I'm liking it I'm very appreciative to um, influencer for sending me things that I normally wouldn't be able to buy, especially in a full size. All right, I will do a check in tonight when I take it off, but see how it did blur. It really does I don't know it does blur like I could see my pores here and here but like not much I've also been trying some new skincare out before I got sick and then I took a pause because it was new and went to some old ones because I didn't know what the medication the doctors put me on would do and you never I personally never want to mess with skincare when I'm new skincare when I'm sick. 
I'm trying to put this back on, but I'll just tap the powder in here. I don't like wasting the powder. All right. So we're going to go ahead and like set this with the elf. And then I will check in after I'm done doing the rest of my makeup. So far, it's definitely medium coverage. I don't see it like going into any pore and to any creases yet. The um, Fenty foundation that I tried, I didn't end up liking. I, um, I will let y'all know the color in the comments. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you need to have like really dry skin or something. I have like combo skin, but I don't know. It just didn't work for me. It was like really would settle in creases and everything. So I'm going to try out a new palette. Technically not new. Just never tried it yet. So, all right. See y'all in the check-in. Okay. I got all the makeup on now. As you can see, I do like the way it looks. And if you look really close, you can see the powder. It does blur. But you can see, like, the texture on my skin, though. That's getting better, though. I told y'all, my skin isn't perfect. See my little wrinkle? I call it Jason. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Yeah. So far, the foundation is great. I just don't like the color. So, I'll probably give it to my mom. Or, I think one of my friends is needing some kind of foundation. That this one might do good for her. I think the Fenty foundation was too dark for her. I gotta look. But, she's needing foundation. And, her boyfriend works with Jason. And, you know. She wrote me a thing saying, do I have anything that would work for her? So, anyway. I will try to do a check-in this afternoon before I get a shower, but I will see y'all soon. All right, it's doing pretty good. My eyes started burning a little while ago and watering, so the mascara ran. So Tarte mascara is not waterproof, but the foundation looks pretty good. I've had it on for about five hours or so, six, and it stayed on pretty good. It's not greasy. It's not settling into any creases, but you could tell which eye was irritated for some reason. I like the way the makeup ended up looking, the eyeshadow. So let's see, I'll show you all in a different light. I feel like it looks good. So, all right, I love this and I will, since the color isn't good, I'll probably be giving it to a friend because you can see the difference in my natural tone. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.